You can stare at it for hours. Yeah, even I kind of forget what's on it. <laughs> if I go back to it like a month or so later after I finished it, there's like all these little things that I notice in it that I didn't. Yeah, I, like, I didn't realize that that guy was there before. I forgot about him too. Or... Labros Dániel még csak 22 éves, de már a hatodik önálló kiállítását nyitotta meg. Dani különleges világlátásával, képein, rajzain és grafikáin keresztül mindenkit izgalmas kalandra hív. Én általában ezek a jegyzetfüzeteken szoktam kezdeni, ezeket mindig hordozom magammal, és bármi, ami eszembe jut, ezt csak így lefirkálom benne. És ezekben elég sok fajta a dolgok jelennek meg, vannak ilyen kicsit absztraktabb dolgok is, vannak olyanok, amik így Karakterek, karakterekre koncentrálnak, vannak, amik csak ilyen kísérletezések, vagy ilyen árnyékoló gyakorlatok, és később, amikor egy kiállítást rakok össze, akkor ezekhez szoktam mindig visszanyúlni. Utána, hogyha van egy olyan vázlat, ami így nagyon megtetszik, és azt hiszem, hogy jól néz neki nagyban, akkor kikísérletezgetem számítógépen, hogy hogyan néznek ki jól, és akkor veszek hozzá másznakat, és elkezdek rajta dolgozni. Itt szeretem kombinálni a kettőt, mert hogyha egy valami digitális térben létezik, akkor így valami elveszik belőle szerintem, és hogyha így itt van előtted egy vászlan, akkor van egy ilyen textúrája, egy felülete, ami, amitől valahogy így élénkebb lesz a kép, és, és szebb, mint ugye csak egy sima lapos képernyőn létezik. Uh, viszont ugyanakkor szeretem a szabadságot, amit ez a digitális tér ad um, ilyen szempontból, hogy akármennyit módosíthatom ezeket a dolgokat, és, és akármennyit tudok vele kísérletezni. Tani számára barátnője Nikol nyitotta meg a kaput a festészet felé, az évek során pedig igazi alkotópárossá váltak. My first exhibition I did all, all digital stuff, and it was all prints. And then uh, when I went to Michigan for the first time, she was teaching me um, how to use paints and how to use brushes because before that I was very uncomfortable with using paints because I didn't have much control over it. I'm not that great of a painter, but I feel very comfortable with painting because my teacher was very supportive. Um, even if it looked terrible, she would say, oh wow, you're doing great. <laughs> so, so I felt very comfortable with painting. And I had a lot of practice, so I taught you how to become more comfortable yeah, with it, it, I suppose. <laughs> I don't like laziness, and sometimes he'll be maybe playing a video game when he has a deadline. And so I'm kind of not a secretary, but I'm very... You push me to, to I, I look at work. I look at his schedule and I say, okay, you have to do this and this and this, and we have this amount of time. Yeah. And so I don't let him wander. Really, I really keep him focused. This one's my favorite. This one, we tried to give it a lot of texture, and I, we tried to make it look as if it's kind of like clay or something. Yeah, because that's one of your mediums that you haven't been able to show in a gallery before. I love to use clay. I, I think he's really amazing with clay. Yeah. And um, just working with his, his fingers. Um, but when you have a brush, you it's it's kind of awkward. And so here you can, I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but there's pieces that stick out. Yeah, so it has um, kind of surface to it. And you yeah, it's, it. Not, it's not polished or refined. With this exhibition, for example, since um, I had all these sketches piled up and we didn't really know um, what I was going to paint, she helped a lot with picking out the artworks that would um, look good uh, on, a, on a canvas. Or she'll um, paint the background for me, or she'll just do little tasks um, that um, just keep the whole thing on track. So we really, we really work together, together as a team. Yeah. I go to school for art history, so I'm always thinking in past tense and so when I look at his art and I see a theme in between these two paintings that maybe he painted five years apart, I say, well, you know, that painting that you painted when you were 17 has a, a similarity to this one that you just painted yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then, then we start having a show because the paintings have to speak to each other. I'm more of the intellectual and he's more of the poetic so it's it's a team but it's individual 
Yeah.